you guys this is week one of my medusa slash filtrum piercing i finally made it to a week everything's been going smooth the healing's been incredible um my main scare when i get a piercing is that i'm always kind of like overly um pretentious of you know cleaning the piercing and keep making sure it's okay um even my tattoos i just want everything to go smooth um but so far this piercing has been so easy to take care of i haven't had any issues with it um for the past seven days of me having this filtrum medusa piercing um i've been cleaning it like you know the inside of with mouthwash or sea salt i've been see cleaning it with sea salt more than mouthwash lately but um i mean besides the morning when i brush my teeth and wash my face but overall i've been cleaning it the inside with sea salt and i've also been cleaning the outside with sea salt and tea tree oil um, i haven't been using ice or baby teethers anymore for the swelling because i don't have any swelling anymore i haven't had swelling um since day five it just went down um and as i told you um in the day six video i changed the librette and the ball um and yesterday last night um, right after I posted the video, the labret magically fell out and thank God I was on my bed. Cause if you know, if you have, um, the ball of the labret, the end, that thing is like finding a needle in a haystack. Like it's so hard to find, um, you know, when the ball falls off of your labret or even whatever piercing that you have, the end that kind of keeps it in place, even like a back of your earring or something like that. It's like finding a needle and like... When it falls, it's done. Like, it's, it's done. Um, so thank God that I was about to go to sleep and it was in my bed. It was literally right on my bed um, when I, you know, when I got up to look for it. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, I cleaned it again. I left, I left it in some sea salt due to the fact that it was on my bed and probably got, you know, whatever. Um, even though I'm clean, I just do it anyway. Just, you know, health purposes um so i did that and i put it back on and um yeah it's been it's kind of loose to the fact that this is not the original labret that it came from um even though it's the same gauge sometimes when you get two different like labrets and balls for a piercing um it's not manufactured the same you know what i mean it can be a, either a defect or um the inside where you know because it's all different types of librettes it's bioflex librettes which one you push in and it's you know the regular librettes that you just you know screw on which i i find um i i do like bioflex librettes um due to the fact that it's more comfortable um but I don't know, I still like the standard size librettes. Um, and they have also internal and external threaded. You know, they have all different types of kind of jewelry now for these piercings, which is amazing. Because back in the day, um, they just had regular stainless steel librettes or hoops or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, so technology and manufacturing has kind of stepped their game up with body piercing jury i'm really really you know that's cool but anyways long story short um this is not the original librette um this is a librette that i got from another company so it doesn't screw on properly um it screws on like when i really really hold it with like pliers and then screw it on it it holds but when i just do it with just pushing the back of the librette out and trying to screw it on it doesn't really work out too too well um and I don't want it to come out, and I don't, you know, that's annoying. So I've dealt with that with, that is my pet peeve with body jewelry and body piercings is when it falls out. I dealt with that with my cheek piercings, and that's the biggest reason why I took it out. Because it was constantly, I actually needed to get into some new jewelry, but I was to the point where I didn't want it anymore. So anyways, I um, also got my uh, seamless hoop. It's really for a nose um piercing um but i got it from my spectrum i feel really stupid because i spent ten dollars on something that i made exactly the same yesterday um even though it has a little more um seamless curved look and it's thicker and it fits my um my piercing a little bit you know more form fitted to my nose i'd still pay ten dollars well i only paid 3.99 for a whole 
pack of wiring you know what i mean so i feel kind of stupid but i'm going to keep it because it's in my nose now and i don't feel like returning it it's no point whatever my loss um but i still like it it's cute i like the whole gold thing that's going on with my face small you probably get something smaller um unless you want to hide it um but um i got a one fourth i should have got like a five sixteenth or something like that so i'm going to shoot for a five sixteenth or something a little bigger um but i love it so far i'm not going to complain I, I want it all gold um anyway um, so I'm really, really, you know, happy with the results thus far. Um, I'm still dealing with a little bit of dryness. Um, I've been using A&D ointment and Vaseline and tea tree oil. Um, just a little lubricated. Also cocoa butter, like I said yesterday, video on day six also works. Um, don't like glob it on or anything like that. Put a little bit on and, you know, use a Q-tip and kind of just rub it in. It will just break that dryness that's going on around the piercing. If you deal with that, some people don't deal with that at all with piercings. I personally do, due to the fact that I probably overdo the sea salt process with piercings. Um, but I say after like week two, I don't deal with the dryness anymore. It's very like kind of a common cycle with me with piercings um so yeah that's pretty much about it you guys um it's week one and i made it to week one i'm pretty pretty happy i'm, I'm excited um i'm not going to be making any more um updates probably to the first month um, due to the fact that it would be kind of annoying making like week two, week three, week four. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be making any more updates. Only update I probably will make if, if I ever change the librette. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be making any more constant updates of this piercing anymore. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for the first month. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much about it, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe.